for today's game. And we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Newton's Panthers going up against Carr's Raiders. With that, we'll get you out to Oakland. So we'll hand it over to our colleagues, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, after an off-season of questions, football is back here in the East Bay at Oakland, California. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Carolina Panthers and the Oakland Raiders. Here's Taiwan Jones on the return. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. They come out here in the eye. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second hey, down here. Riley. Riley. Again, it's Murray. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. As we get a glance at these starters, Michael Crabtree is the man we highlighted wide receiver. Phenomenal hands, so strong. When the ball gets to him, it just dies right there, and then he's able to do things with it after he catches it. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. But they pick it up on third and one on the quarterback sneak, and that's not easily done because there are extra bodies in there on the defensive side, and they're moving forward at the snap. Yeah, I was certainly expecting a handoff, weren't you? Yeah, I totally was. I thought they'd go with a back, maybe try and get a lead blocker in front. But as you talk about in different games, those guys with confidence in their offensive line, they just want to move forward and get it. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And the starting defense here for the Panthers. It's real easy to talk about Thomas Davis coming back from multiple knee injuries, but he wants his play on the field to be the story. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now they'll throw with Carr. Throw left side to the tight end, Walford. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. We ready? Carr looking to throw on third and two. It finds Crabtree for the completion. A pickup of 11, and it moves the chains. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. On first down, Murray. A gain of three, second down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Now it's second and seven. They go play action for Murray. Now Carr throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And they're going to have a third down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. Throwing his car on third down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. 
And look at this. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Escaping the pressure right. And it is incomplete. A gutsy call by Jack Del Rio, but it does not pay off. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. And some space here. 13 yards there on the pickup. And that leads to a Carolina first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. And he's brought down. Now, Olsen Charles battled back spasms, missed the second game for the Panthers in the preseason. They're just hoping when they suit up for real, he'll be good to go. And Cam Newton has to have him. That was his number one target last season, and Greg Olsen went to the Pro Bowl. But when he missed the game against the Tennessee Titans, I saw that game. That allowed Cam Newton to find Devin Funches and welcome back Kelvin Benjamin, two big targets out wide. He hit Stewart in the flat. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. It's a good gain of 11, sets them up first and goal. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Jonathan Stewart, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Oakland Raiders offense heading on to the field. And you talk about their quarterback spot. Derek Carr, he's had some struggles in the preseason, hasn't he? He has had those, but I don't expect there to be a quick hook or anything of that nature. He's expected to be their starting quarterback for a long time. But behind him, they've gotten a good look at Connor Cook, who is their fourth-round selection. And I talked with someone from the Raiders' front office. They think he can be an absolute steal. Wouldn't be surprised if he moved to number two ahead of Matt McGloin when the season begins. First down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Thomas Davis. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So the Carolina Panthers offense trotting out there. And every time you look at their offense moving onto the field, you can't help but notice those big 6'4 and 6'5 wide receivers in Funchess and Benjamin. Monster guys. And don't forget, they both weigh 230 to 240. So trying to go through them to get the ball, very difficult to do. But their timing in the preseason, their increased play is evident. It's going to make Cam Newton a better quarterback. And when you've got receivers that size, it's not an accident. Their general manager, he told me, I like big players. On second down, they run with Stewart. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Oh. 
So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. On first and 10, Newton. That is caught inside the five. And he's brought down after a good game. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They come out here in the eye. Try to punch it in. Stewart. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Cleo Mack starting to get a really big-time reputation as a pass rusher, and rightly so. So explosive off the edge, getting to the quarterback. But he doesn't neglect his run duties as well. How about that tackle right there? Such a package he has. Able to play the run and the pass so well. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Oakland after this. Newton on third and goal. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Devin Funches from six yards away. And the Panthers add on to their lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it. But you he rifles one that's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And he is not quite going to 